What you're looking at right now is an audiogram. This is a static or dynamic image that's meant to be combined with audio with the purpose of turning that audio content into video. Audiograms are great for repurposing your audio podcast episodes into video format, so they can be posted to places like YouTube and Instagram. Let me show you how to do it super easily. This is Riverside, a platform that revolutionizes audio and video content creation. Riverside has features that cater to all your production needs and is the perfect toolkit for transforming your audio into dynamic visuals. I'm going to show you how to create an audiogram for your full podcast episode and create audiogram clips as well that will be shareable for social media. First things first, you'll want to log into your Riverside account. If you don't have one yet, no worries. Signing up is quick and easy and you can start for free. Once you're logged in, to head into an existing studio or create a new one with this plus button here. Let's name this one Audiograms. If you're working from scratch, you can record directly in Riverside or you can upload an existing audio file, MP3, WAV, you name it. Click on the file that you want to create an audiogram of, hit this edit button, and create new edit. To start on your audiogram, click this show canvas button. Now you'll see you have a bunch of cool tools to use. First, set up your background. So select this brand button, and you can add your background. So you can use one of these backgrounds that Riverside has provided to you, or you can upload your own background. This is super easy to create. Just create a canvas that is 1920 by 1920 in Canva, fill it with whatever pattern or gradient you'd like, export it, and then upload it to Riverside. I really like this cool one from Riverside, so let's use that. Now head down here to Images. You can use stock images here, or if you go to Uploads, you can upload your own image. Let's upload our podcast cover image. Readjust the size. Now head down to the timeline and you'll see an image icon. Select that and you'll have the opportunity to extend the duration of that image to take up the entire episode. Add text overlays to say things like episode titles or episode numbers. And then you can brand it to fit your style. Maybe add a background and I'm gonna change the color of that background using this color tool and adding my hex code. And then we'll have to go down to the bottom and extend that text for the full duration of the episode as well. Now we'll add captions. You can have these animated with your audio. Just choose a style here that you like and you can change the colors and the font to match your brand. I'm also gonna align it left you can also change the size, and then you can move those captions around to wherever you'd like on the screen. We can probably make those a bit bigger. Maybe not that big. Okay, this is pretty good. It's very basic, but you can use your creative freedom here and spice this all up again with things like images and different text overlays. Pro tip here, if your audio quality isn't that good, head to Magic Tools, and you can use this magic audio button that will enhance your audio to studio quality. Once your audiogram is designed, export the video with this export button. Now you have an audiogram of your full episode. Let's get some social media clips. Head back to your dashboard. Select this Magic Clips button. Riverside is going to skim your transcript and select the best parts of your episode and turn them into clips for social media. Go into each clip it created and create your audiogram. Here's an example. We have an image of the speaker, captions with the brand colors, as well as the cover image for brand awareness, the episode number and title, so that any viewers of the clip immediately know where it's from and can find it easily. You can also change the aspect ratio of these clips for various platforms, although you will have to redesign it to fit the frame. Then export it and it will be available to download from the dashboard along with your full episode. Now, one more cool thing before I let you go. Use this AI show notes button and you'll get a summary, keywords, takeaways, titles, sound bites, and chapter markers of your full episode. You can use this information to optimize your audiograms on places like YouTube. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, audiograms are great, but the most engaging way to make a podcast is with video. But don't worry if you wanna know how I created that whole episode that we just created an audiogram of, completely from scratch with video, then head to this video next for a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the process. 
If you found this guide helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel for more tips, and drop any questions or insights in the comments below. My name is Bridget, and I cannot wait to see how your audiograms turned out. Catch you in the next video.